നമുക്ക് ഇനി ട്രാൻസിസ്റ്റർ ഒരു ആംപ്ലിഫയർ ആയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ ഉപയോഗിക്കാൻ നോക്കാം അതിന് ഫസ്റ്റ് നിങ്ങൾ ഈ സർക്യൂട്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ഒന്ന് നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് കോമൺ എമിറ്റർ സർക്യൂട്ട് ആണ് വരച്ചിട്ടുള്ളത് നമ്മൾ ഇൻപുട്ട് ഫോർവേഡ് ബയാസിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇവിടെ വി 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 കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഗുരുബോസ് ബയാസിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് നമ്മൾ വി സി ക്യൂ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് വി വിൽ മെഷർ ഫ്രം ഹിയർ നമ്മൾ കണ്ടു ഈ ഇൻപുട്ട് സിഗ്നൽ നമുക്ക് ലോ ആംപ്ലിറ്റ്യൂഡ് സിഗ്നൽ ആണ് കൊടുക്കുന്നത് ഔട്ട്പുട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാനും കുറച്ച് ഹൈ ആംപ്ലിറ്റ്യൂഡ് സിഗ്നൽ ആണ് ഇതിലുണ്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഇതെങ്ങനെയാണ് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്നത് നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം During the positive half cycle of the signal, the forward bias across the emitter bias junction is increased. So, the positive half cycle is increased. The positive half cycle is increased. The positive half cycle is increased. The forward bias is increased. The forward bias is increased. The forward bias is increased. Therefore, more electrons flow from the emitter to the collector via the base. This causes an increase in collector power. The increased collector current produces a greater voltage drop across the collector load. Now, the collector current is going to pass in and the resistance will pass in. If you have a resistance, you will get high voltage drop across the resistance. So, the increased collector current produces a greater voltage drop across the collector load resistance. However, during the negative half cycle, during the negative half cycle, The forward bias across the emitter junction is decreased. Therefore, collector current decreases. So, the current is decreased. The current is decreased. The voltage is dropped. The voltage is dropped. The positive half cycle is dropped. The negative half cycle is dropped. The voltage is dropped. The negative voltage is dropped. The voltage is dropped. The negative 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 half cycle is dropped. And we will get the amplified output is obtained across the resistance. That is the amplification output. Now, we have to say the voltage which is available. When no signal is applied, the input circuit is followed by us by the battery VBB. Therefore, a DC collector current IC flows in the collector circuit. This is called zero signal collector current. Now, we have to say the signal is not available. ഡിസിക്ടർ Due to bias battery VBB, this is the current that flows in the collector in the absence of signal. Then the AC collector current, we, we uh, denoted by the small letter I, small letter C. Therefore, uh, the uh, IC, I small letter capital C denotes the total collector current due to DC and IC, uh, DC and AC. Well, this is due to this AC signal, AC signal and this is due to the battery. Yeah. Then the useful output is the voltage drop across the collector load is due to the AC component IC. The purpose of zero signal collector current is to ensure that the emitter base junction is forward by us at all times. Okay. So, we instantaneous current, DC current, total current, and the tabular. ായിട്ട് <laughs> അപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ സാധാരണ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നത് ലോഡ് ലൈൻ മെത്തേഡ് ആണ് എന്നാൽ ലോഡ് ലൈൻ നമുക്ക് നോക്കാം ഡി സി ലോഡ് ലൈൻ ഡി സി ലോഡ് ലൈൻ നമ്മൾ വരയ്ക്കുന്നത് കോമൺ എമിറ്റർ എൻ പി എൻ ട്രാൻസിസ്റ്റർ സർക്കൂട്ട് ഹിയർ വി ഹാവ് ഗിവ് നോട്ട് സപ്ലൈഡ് ദ സിഗ്നൽ ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ ഇതിലൂടെ കറണ്ട് ഈ റെസിസ്റ്ററിലൂടെ പാസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് 
connector current battery from the battery and zero signal connector current if we have this circuit analysis, we can see that VC is equal to VCC minus ICRC. VCC is equal to ICRC plus VCE. VCE VC when I C equal to zero, when I C equal to zero, we get V C equal to V C C. When output characteristics number when I C equal to zero on the summit, zero signal character current. IC0 on the summit, and put in the maximum VCC point mark here. VC point mark at VCC. Then VCE0 on the summit, put in the maximum VCE0 on the maximum current of the one VCC by RC on the point mark. Okay. Here under point in the church, the earth and a straight line on the VCE over time. This straight line is known as the DC low line. Well, this low line determines the locus of VCE IC points for any given value of RC. Okay. Well, the signal is the same as IC value. So, we will see the IC value. IC is crossing the low line. So when IC equal to zero, I'm going to VC equal to VC. Then uh, zero signal At the middle or center point of the DC lower line is known as the Qsen point. So, at the zero signal, 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 at this is by RC operative point. The zero signal values of IC and VCE are known as the operating point. Okay. Then question point. It is called the operating point because the variations of IC and VC takes place above this point when signal is applied. It is called the question point. For silent or Q point, so this is the point when the transistor is silent in the absence of the signal. When we have signal, the voltage varies through this point, Q sine point. So for proper operation, we have we should fix the Q sine point at the middle of the DC line. हम लोग ऑपरेटिंग पॉइंट का नाम पढ़ चुके हैं ऑपरेटिंग पॉइंट है वीसीसी ई पॉइंट है ई ई पॉइंट हो ई पॉइंट हो और ऑपरेटिंग पॉइंट है ना बनेगा और क्वेश्चन पॉइंट है ना बनेगा डी मिडिल पॉइंट डी वीसी लोड है और जीरो सिग्नल पॉइंट क्वेश्चन पॉइंट भाई प्रॉब्लम से करेंगे चेंज नहीं होगा � Then uh, common emitter circuit number practically we draw like this common emitter circuit number VCC common VCC 
then RC, then then PN and PNP support. IB then IB. Only in a practical item, circuit draw chain. input followed by us, output reverse by us, the common ground on it. Then output from transistor amplifier. Circuit the English Sadiga, then we will participate in the circuit. Transistor plus VCC, ICRC. Then we use a capacitor here for getting complete AC signal in the output. Or uh, we can take the output directly by putting a load resistance across the collector. Therefore, the output voltage is ICRC. Or a second method is by putting a capacitor like CC cup. CC means coupling capacitor. Uh, and in that case, output voltage is VCC minus ICR. This is a direct voltage and it cannot pass through the capacitor, DC voltage, therefore the output is minus ICRC, output is minus ICRC, therefore the output of a common emitter is inverse, inverted. And the performance of a transistor amplifier, input resistance, it is the ratio of small change in base emitter voltage, we need the resistant change in base current delta IB at the constant collector emitter that is ri is equal to delta vbe by ib uh, and uh, vbe is almost 1 volt uh, in some cases it is about 0.5 voltages and for example I, uh, the input resistance of an amplifier is 500 ohm and the signal voltage at an instant is 1 voltage then the base current IB is equal to 2 milliampere then the output resistance RO is equal to delta VCE by delta IC it is the ratio of change in collector emitter voltage to the resultant change in output current delta IC constant base current R in uh, input resistance is denoted by this block diagram then effective collector load now output resistance of vehicle we have RC we have to do output resistance parallel we have to do RAC effective load resistance is RAC is equal RC parallel RO. Your R will be running in other parallel input. Current again, beta is delta IC by delta IP. No one after Kanda. Voltage gain. Voltage gain, it is the ratio of change in output to voltage delta VC to the change in input voltage that is voltage gain AB is equal to delta VC by delta VBE that is equal to the values in a substitute we will get delta into RAC by RI and RC by RI in the program question on the problem is very current and we will take the computer and power gain our gain is the ratio of output signal power to the input signal power that is equal to delta IC square into RIC by delta IB square into RI current gain into voltage gain which is the problem in the problem then cut off on the saturation points cut off point the point where the load line intersect at IB equal to 0 this is the cutoff point 
is the middle point, right? Crescent point, cut off point. When IB is equal to zero, the road line in the intersects the IB is equal to zero point is known as the cut off point. At cut off, the base emitter junction no longer remains followed by us and normal transistor action is lost. The collector emitter voltage is nearly equal to VCC. That is VCC cut off is equal to VCC. Then saturation point from this we can write the point where the load line intersects IB is equal to IB saturation is called the saturation point. The base current is maximum and so the collector current is maximum. At saturation, collector base junction no longer remains reverse bias and normal transistor action is lost. Above below this point, no transistor action and above this point, no transistor action. So the transistor should operate in between the cutoff and the saturation point. In the activation region, the region between cutoff and the saturation is known as the active region. In the active region, collector base junction remains reverse bias while base emitter junction remains forward bias. Consequently, the transistor will function normally in the active region. Then determination of transistor configuration. The practical circuits uh, we know uh, the transistor. We, we must be able to tell whether a given transistor is connected as a common emitter, common base, or common collector. And uh, for that, we just uh, locate the terminals and uh, we will find where the IC output input and is given taken from the transistor. And the remaining third terminal is connected as common. Then we can uh, find whether it's a common. And uh, and then uh, we can apply the input and uh, input from the common output from the common. If we take the emitter as, as a common for input and output, can say that that is a common emitter configuration. If we take a uh, collector as a common, so we can, we can call it as a common collector. If we have taken base as a common, then we can call it as a common base configuration. And the basic item of the carrying the number for the other.